what is meant by a linear equation? In terms of x and y, a first order degree equation is called as a linear equation. That is, ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. In terms of x and y, a first order degree equation is called a linear equation. Suppose a linear equation with one variable is called what? Suppose for example, in this linear equation how many variables are there? Two variables are there. Okay, now let us suppose it is only one variable that is either ax plus c is equal to 0 or by plus c is equal to 0 which is called as a simple equation. That is a linear equation with one variable is called as a simple equation and a simple equation has only one solution that is a unique solution that is ax plus c is equal to 0 x is equal to minus c by a or by plus c is equal to 0 y is equal to minus c by b. Then what about a linear equation? A linear equation has infinitely many solutions. Okay. What we learn from this is a simple equation has a unique solution and a linear equation has infinitely many solution. Let a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 are two linear equations. Then immediately three different cases we can arise here. What are the three different cases? Now these three different cases are distinct that is one is different from the other that is possibility cases. Case 1 if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then these are called consistent lines are consistent to each other what is meaning of consistent it is the nature is a consistent then See, so let us suppose for example, this is the line L1, next the line L2, that is consistent means they have at least one solution that is a unique solution. Unique solution is different from the at least one solution. That the two lines are intersect each other, then the lines are called consistent and the case is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Case 2, if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Then, what is the nature of the graphs? Let us see. X, Y. This is the line L1. This is the line L2. That is, the condition, if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is not equal to C1 by C2, then the nature of the lines are parallel lines. For parallel lines, there is no solution which is called as inconsistent next case 3 if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then the lines are coincident if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then the nature of the lines are coincident to each other that is the nature of the graphs see 
एक्स वाई दट इज एल वन एल टू वॉट इज द मीन फॉर दट फॉर द सेम लाइन हियर यू नेम इट एज एल वन हियर नेम इट एज एल टू वॉट इज द मीन फॉर दट दट इज एल वन एंड एल टू बोथ द लाइन्स आर को इन साइड टू इच अदर ओके लेट एस फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ लेट एस सी दीज वी कैन सी द टू हैंड्स ओके नाउ यू कैन सी दीज टू आर द टू डिफरेंट मॉडल्स ओके देन लेट एस सी द इफ यू जॉइन टू ईच अदर दैट मीन्स वन इज ओवरलैप विद ईच अदर then we can see from the front side it is only one but see now in the similarly now we can learn three different cases if a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0 or the pair of linear equations then three different cases we can arise the case one a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 that is the nature of the lines are the consistent and the lines intersect each other condition 2 if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 these the nature of the lines are inconsistent and the lines are parallel to each other and condition 3 if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then they are coincide to each other for this one also you have the infinitely many solution therefore it is also called as consistent lines identify the following which are intersect parallel and coincident that means from our previous knowledge the pair of linear equations has three different in nature that is either intersect or parallel or coincident to each other okay let us see some example now example 1 that is 2x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0 comma 5x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0 now identify the positions of a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 first of all write the positions of these three after that we can able to understand this one very easily now a1 by a2 that is a 2 by 5 b1 by b2 that is 3 by minus 2 c1 by c2 that is minus 4 by 7 that means first of all these two are not a tallied that is i can conclude that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 therefore given lines are intersect each other given lines are each other now come to example 2 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 next second equation 4x minus 6y plus 7 is equal to 0 similarly identify the positions come on a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 4 b1 by b2 is equal to minus 3 by minus 6 c1 by c2 is equal to 4 by 7 now that is a1 by a2 which can be simplified a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 2 because convert this one into the standard fraction after that b1 by b2 which can be also converted into the simple fraction 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 already is in the standard fraction therefore no need to simplify it again after this one now if you identify ident a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and this is not equal to c1 by c2 that means according to your case to a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 means given lines are parallel to each other parallel means the lines never touch each other that means if the lines are parallel it has no solution 